asset management system so here is our new release in this release we have added new feature uh, dynamic user role management system previously it was just uh, manually uh, admin user set the other user access by uh, checking the checkbox so in this video we will cover a uh, new feature like uh, uh, manage user role so if we enter this role enter this module we can see the manage user role and system role so system role basically just role name uh, already we have uh, uh, like uh, all page wise role so if we go to the if we go to create the same role again let me check admin so role already exist role name admin you cannot create the same role again so this is the system role and if uh, if uh, you have access this as a role as a user you can access that base so just for test purpose uh, let me create admin 02 so role has been created role name has been admin 02 uh, so manage user role so uh, if just run this project uh, as a cedar data automatically uh, just uh, two role will be created admin role and general role so if i open the admin role so this is the basic uh, summary and the access uh, role list so all the pages uh, this role can access the role so we have 33 a uh, role uh, like page wise so admin uh, role can access all the pages but if we select the another role like a uh, general role this role can access just user profile and dashboard so basic user so uh, let me create another two role like admin 2 and general 2 so that you can understand so if we create add new role like admin 02 description tbt you can search role as well and uh, check all just for admin save so role uh, created successful role id3 uh, so our role admin 02 role has been created and if we uh, see uh, the details so yeah, we can see all the uh, all the role can access this role you can edit the role as well by checking and unchecking the checkbox let me create another role just general role mm, general 02 tbd so i just select the dashboard and user profile save so user role has been created so as default uh, we already have two role but uh, just for testing or demo we have created uh, same two type two role like admin admin 02 can access all the pages and general role just uh, can access that basic user profile so on next demonstration create a user based on the role so we'll create two user a1 and a2 and first user will assign the admin 02 test zero uh, one user phone number just uh, default passwords one to three house and here is the user role based on the uh, role you this user can access uh, the application pages so let me select just admin 02 which is newly created and here is the details uh, you can add the details as well so uh, let me just add designation just software engineer department HR sub department uh, uh, sub department might be operations and joining that leaving that is a uh, proper uh, so no summary so if I save uh, admin already uh, admin at the red gmail is already taken so we have to change the email like a1 so user has been created successfully so uh, for this new user we have set uh, admin role so if we log in using this uh, uh, is 
user id and password we can access all the pages and if we check the uh, access of this page manage user page this user can access all the pages as an admin user i can uh, unassign the other some pages if required so here is the user details summary asset allocation i will create another user just for uh, general uh, test 0 to user phone number as it is same so i will assign it to password 1 2 3 and just channel 0 2 if we uh, if i click the save button so user it has been created successfully uh, here is the a2 details and if we check the uh, manage page access so as expected this user can access only the dashboard and user profile so uh, let me log in and uh, log out and log in as a newly created to a user one but first i will create as a admin user See, as expected, we can access all the pages, all the feature like asset user management, asset history, like all the menus, full menu we can access as admin user. But if we log, log sign out and log in again using the general zero to user rule, A2, we cannot access full application. We just access user profile and dashboard an empty dashboard basically so basic user cannot access the dashboard feature as well so uh, in this uh, release we have added uh, dynamic user role management you can create unlimited role also edit the roles and based on the role you can assign the user so when you are going to create a new user you can just select the role name and based on the role uh, a new user will uh, gate the uh, system role access accordingly so this is the uh, role uh, management system uh, based on uh, some client request we have added this new feature uh, so in the menu manage user role you can uh, manage the user role additional feature we have added in this uh, release uh, like previously uh, in the asset uh, we have used uh, barcode so if we select here is the barcode but uh, a qr code is uh, more smarter and in using the mobile you can scan the qr code so in this uh, new release we have added the qr code so we keep two, two often barcode and qr code based on your needs needs you can customize uh, you can disable the qr code or barcode so if i create a new asset like let's say asset model name test 01 and double ACT asset so this is the asset id dynamically uh, in the back end generated you can change the asset id and based on the asset id you can update the your barcode like uh, 99 update barcode barcode also uh, based on the asset id uh, qr code has been generated you can change the uh, qr code as well so qr code showing so if we select a more digit here uh, tq and update qr codes see a qr code has been updated so apple computers unit price to just uh, for testing data and it subcategory so other info assign so a lot of information here uh, just for uh, demo purpose i just uh, uh, use required data so here is the qr code so qr code will save in the database uh, ms sql server uh, and also you can retype the qr code for later so if i click the save asset created successfully so uh, we have uh, two options barcode and qr code and both code as a ms you can uh, check the details so here's the barcode here is the qr code also you have a option for purchased receipt uh, you can attach the purchased receipt 
um, this uh, document don't have the purchase receipt uh, you can print this asset as well also we uh, you have option to change the qr code uh, like uh, 99 triple jet update so qr code updated and if we save this qr code you can see in the details so summary is in this new feature we have uh, updated the uh, rule management system added the dynamic role uh, you have full control create the role and assign the role uh, for new user and also customize the user uh, access based on the role and you have option uh, to uh, scanner code like barcode and qr code as well additionally we have added uh, like uh, previously we already have the print barcode option so all the barcode for the system automatically show, showing here and you can print from here also we have added the newly added qr code pages so you can print the qr code as well so this is the uh, summary of asset management system uh, we have uh, used asp.net code 610 this uh, system support multiple database and uh, yeah, this system have uh, unique feature like user management is a dynamic uh, role based user management you can assign the role also have mm, the request module as a user can request the asset and also request the asset issue in the settings you can um, manage the manage supplier company info identity settings subscription request email setting login history you can check the login history audit logs so this system also uh, implemented audit trail so you can check the audit log as well so here is the overall summary hopefully uh, you like this application and uh, we uh, with the latest source code and documentation you will get uh, get it from the code canyon also if required any additional further support or modification you can always welcome to contact with me uh, we have a um, small team and we will uh, definitely support you based on the based on your requirements so hopefully uh, we'll add more feature in our next video and also we have updated the login module uh, uh, here is the sign up screen uh, you can register and also if you you can if you forget the password here the forget screen and uh, we can see the login screen so we try to uh, uh, beautification the system so we are regularly updating this uh, application so you are always welcome to share your uh, feedbacks and uh, if possible we will add your feedback in the in the next release so this asset, asset management system uh, uh, as a employee can uh, log in and cannot access all the assets he or she can access only assign asset and employee cannot access all the pages so i already explained the role management system so as a admin or hr user just go to the manage role and create a, like uh, uh, staff or employee employee role tbd so as employee user can uh, uh, access the asset mm, dashboard user profile so if i save so employee role has been created and if i create an if i create a new user or just editing the existing user sorry uh, this user can access dashboard and user profile and this user can access all the pages so if i edit this user and change the role like employee role save uh, maybe some technical issue i will fix uh, after this video so if i create a new user uh, like employee uh, user phone number 
password select employee role if I create I'm not sure what is let me just let me just create again uh, employee role uh, a3 123 select the employee role save so user created successfully if we uh, check this user like minus user face so as i mentioned earlier also when we created the employee role we have selected three uh, role asset dashboard and user profile if we go to the asset and uh, we allocated this new asset to the employee role user save sign and if I go to the user management and a3 if we log in this using this user ID a3 at the gmail.com and the password see this user can access uh, only assigned assets so somehow this user don't have any assigned asset and this user can only access the user profile an asset management system so here is the overall summary of new feature and asset management system so thank you everyone hopefully uh, hopefully we'll add more feature and fix the existing issue so we already have a one issue during the uh, video demonstration i will fix after this video so see you in the next video thank you